Germany is likely in recession now as external demand is weak, consumers remain cautious and domestic investment is held back by high borrowing costs, the Bundesbank said in a regular monthly report on Monday about Europe's biggest economy. Germany has struggled since Russia's 2022 invasion of Ukraine pushed up energy costs and its vast industry-heavy economy is now in its fourth straight quarter of zero or negative growth weighing on all of the eurozone. This week's performance has raised questions about the sustainability of the German economic model and critics argue that much of its energy-reliant heavy industry is now being priced out of international markets, warranting an economic transformation. The government, however, has pushed back on gloomy projections, arguing that it is merely a perfect storm of high energy costs, weak Chinese demand and rapid inflation that temporarily holds back growth but does not fundamentally question economic strategy. For now, the weakness will persist as the foreign industrial demand is trending down and the order backlog is dwindling. Firms are also holding back investment, partly because financing costs have risen sharply since the European Central Bank pushed up interest rates to a record high to combat inflation, the Central Bank said. High nominal wage growth is also impacting firms and strikes in key sectors such as transport could also weigh on the uh, growth in the counter. Disruption of shipping in the Red Sea will, however, not have significant impact because there is plenty of spare capacity in shipping and because freight costs are only a minor part of the overall good of uh, cost. While the outlook is weak, the bank said it expects no major deterioration in the labour market, which has insulated the economy so far and Germany was not facing a broad-based prolonged recession.